Hey, welcome back to Pulse Barbecue. I'm Jay Ben Postal, and today at The Grill, we're making a delicious barbecue rotisserie chicken that's absolutely phenomenal. It's juicy, it's flavorful, it's absolutely delicious, and I know you're gonna love it. And so just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below for you, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to Pulse Barbecue. I appreciate you being here today at The Grill. I have these two, about two and a half pound uh, whole chickens. And what I'm gonna be doing today with them is I'm gonna be uh, putting them into the rotisserie. And if you've never done rotisserie chicken or rotisserie style cooking, it's a lot of fun because it breaks the norm, uh, it changes things up a little bit, and it's just, you're left with an incredible result every time. Uh, the chicken is juicy, it's classic, it's barbecue, it's all things delicious. And best of all, when you do it on a rotisserie on a kettle you can fit two or even three chickens onto your your rotisserie which means you can meal prep you can make for a lot of people and it's just a great way to cook and so like i said these are two and a half pound chickens uh, they did come with uh, the legs tied up already and that's perfect i don't want to remove that uh, if anything i want to keep it as whole as possible just to make it a little bit easier and this is one of those cooks that's perfect for after work uh, because it doesn't take a lot of time and the prep is so simple and so to to prepare these, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all hit it with this garlic infused olive oil. And I'm just gonna uh, put a little bit of this onto the outside surface. And this is gonna allow my rub uh, to stick to it a little bit more. You don't have to do this if your chicken is still a little bit hydrated from in the package, but this is just gonna add a little bit of extra garlic flavor uh, to this cook. So if you did want to inject it with some butter or even some uh, garlic infused butter, go for it. It's just going to add a little bit of hydration into the breast portion. But with a rotisserie, it's going to come out really juicy anyways. And so to season it today, I'm going to be using my original rub. If you have been following along, uh, you know I have the chicken rub. And today I want that bit of barbecue sweetness. This is sort of what you get when you go to the grocery store and you get the rotisserie uh, chicken from the grocery store. It's more similar to that. And so that's the flavor that I want today. And so uh, I'm just going to apply a generous coating of this barbecue rub uh, to the outside surface you get it into that uh, bit of crack of the leg there we, go. we don't want to miss any of the sections here get that wing and I'm even going to put a little bit on the inside if I can access it there we go do the next one All right, there we go. And so the next step to this is I'm gonna get it onto uh, my rotisserie spit here. And so first of all, I'm just gonna uh, take this and put it through all the cavity. You can see how it goes nice and easy on there. And then I'm gonna grab my clamp and I'm gonna place this in. There we go, I'm gonna tighten that up. You wanna get it good and tight so it's nice and secure. And then with my second one, I prefer to butt the breast up to the leg quarter, so I'm going to place this in this way. And you can see how it kind of holds itself in place. Grab my next one, get that on there as well. And then I'm going to make sure this is nice and tight. There we go. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, hit the top again with a little bit of that barbecue rub just to recoat some of those spots that I took off with my gloves. You can see that the preparation uh, wasn't very long as well as it wasn't that challenging to actually put together. And so with it all prepared, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Sloan Sear kettle set up for cooking around 300 degrees. So to set up the grill today, I filled up the Sloan's here basket about halfway with some lump charcoal and got that mostly lit, followed by closing the lid to allow it to come up to around 300 degrees. All right, now that my grill is sitting around 300 degrees, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my meter probe uh, that's from the block here and I'm gonna place it into the chicken breast, just like that. I do the same thing on this side. 
there we go. And one of the reasons why I love to use the wireless probes like this one uh, is because there's no cables in the way. So as the rotisserie is spinning, uh, you can still monitor the internal temperature of the chicken as well as the ambient temperature of the grill. And so you know exactly what you're cooking at and what you're cooking to. And now with everything ready, I'm gonna get it into the rotisserie. And then last, I'm gonna add in a little bit of apple wood for some smoky flavor. And then I'm gonna press my button to turn the rotisserie on. And just look at that. Like I said, this is a really fun way to cook because it's a little bit different than how you might be used to cooking. And so with that all on, I'm gonna get my lid back on this grill. And for this cook today, I'm looking for an internal temperature in the breast portion around 160, so it rests up to about 165. And then in the leg portions, 175 uh, plus is my preferred. And so anywhere between 175, 185, that's totally great. And so we'll come back when we start reaching those temperatures. All right, so I've been cooking for about an hour and 25 minutes now, and my thermometer has just notified me that the one bird is sitting around 163 degrees while the other one's about 160. And so I'm gonna open up the lid and I'm gonna probe it uh, just to double check those internal temperatures to make sure that we've got that safe uh, temperature of around 160, 165 degrees. Uh, and so let's open up and take a look. All right, guys, just take a look at that. You can see they look phenomenal. Uh, the color is, is really great. So I'm gonna just turn this off for a second. And I'm gonna grab my digital thermometer. I'm gonna just probe the breast portion. Got 160 in the breast and the thigh portion. Got 168. Let's check the other one. 164 in the breast and in the thigh, 169 in the thigh as well. And so with both of these chickens done, I'm gonna remove it from the grill, let it rest for about five to 10 minutes before we cut into it and get ready for the taste test. It only took about an hour and a half to cook both of these birds using the rotisserie. Uh, they're incredibly juicy. You can already see that there's a lot of the juices are already coming out of the chickens as uh, it's resting and as that moisture that's inside, there's just sort of distributing throughout uh, the whole bird. And so uh, let's go ahead and cut open uh, the breast as well as the thigh and just give it a taste and see how juicy and delicious it actually is. Let's start with the leg cord. We'll get that cut out. go then we'll get the breast there we go just look at all the juices on this cutting board it's absolutely phenomenal and so I'm gonna slice this into some pieces so I'm gonna grab this piece right here and just look at how juicy this is oh it's phenomenal it's not dry whatsoever let's go for the taste Mmm, mmm. That's good stuff. You get that classic barbecue chicken flavor. Uh, it's a bit spicy, a bit sweet, a bit smoky, and absolutely dripping with juices. This is phenomenally cooked. Let's go for a taste test of the quarter. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm speechless, guys. That's, that's so good. You know, if you're eating it just like this, you're gonna be blown away with the flavor uh, because it's so good. But I did make a sauce of drizzle on top and what it is is one part mayonnaise, one part uh, pickle brine juice. Then I put a little bit of barbecue rub. I use the original, a little bit of uh, Dijon and a little bit of hot sauce, all of those just to taste and the pickle brine just to thin it down to the consistency that I want. And so I'm gonna just drizzle that on top. So it's a little bit like a white sauce. So let's go for the taste of that now. Oh my goodness. Whew. That was phenomenal. You know, this might be one of those chickens that can't be beat. It's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm.
So that's how you make the most delicious barbecue chicken using the rotisserie. It's smoky, it's juicy, it's absolutely delicious, and I know you're going to love it. Hey, if you want to see more barbecue videos just like this, so make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Also, special thank you to all my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel every single week. And so until next time, keep that fire lit and get cooking.